You know, let's be honest. If there were an MVP award for most deplorable piece of shit in this whole speaking out movement in the professional wrestling world, pretty sure Joey Ryan would be a runaway winner with it at this point. So for those of you that don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, right, a few months back, there was this whole speaking out movement in professional wrestling. So what happened is basically David Starr from the UK got called out by a few women for being a rapist and from there it sort of snowballed where a bunch of women used the hashtag speaking out to talk about their negative experiences with dudes in professional wrestling. A whole bunch of wrestlers were named, obviously as I said David Starr got named, fucking a lot of other guys from the UK scene got named and shamed. Michael Elgin, Dave Christ, and Joey Ryan all got fired from Impact Wrestling. Another notable one for me is Travis Banks, who got fired from NXT UK, along with Gentleman Jack Gallagher and El Aguero. And so, yeah, yeah. This thing basically led to a bunch of scumbags being named and shamed, and the companies they work with going, See ya! And as I say, among them, one of them was Joey Ryan. Now, see, with this whole speaking out thing, the Travis Banks one pissed me off on a personal level because I've known Travis since 2009, okay? And Travis was the golden child of New Zealand wrestling, and he kind of pissed that all away with what he did. But the Joey Ryan thing pisses me off for a different reason, because Joey Ryan was one of my favorite indie wrestlers for years and years and years. See, Joey Ryan has been working for years and years with this whole sleazy 70s porn star gimmick. And he had this finishing move, basically, where someone would grab his dick and he'd flip them with his dick. I have a childish, immature sense of humor, what can I say? But, yeah, Joey Ryan was one of my favorite indie wrestlers for ages, right? So it got to a point where I was just like, please, 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 Impact Wrestling, hire this dude. Then they hired him, and I was fucking stoked and absolutely elated speaking as a wrestling fan. And then this shit happened. See... It's bad enough in the Travis case where there's a few women over here in New Zealand who've said, yeah, he was a scumbag over here. The straw that broke the camel's back was Millie McKenzie saying that he courted her or emotionally abused her, excuse me, at the age of 17 when he was 30, right? A lot of these other guys, they've had one or two women come out and say, yeah, he assaulted me, he molested me, he did this wrong thing, which is bad enough by itself. Joey Ryan managed to rack up Something like 15 to 24 women, depending on what news source you're using. So obviously, yeah, as I say, him along with Dave Christ and Michael Elgin got the boot from Impact Wrestling. Because Impact are like, nah, fuck that, your assholes. Get. That's not the worst part. Because you see, most people, most sensible people, would have gone, okay, well that's me, time to call it a career, I'm 41 years old with a one-note gimmick. Because before the porn star gimmick, he was just generic, interchangeable, Californian indie guy number 56. Yo, it's time for me to hang up my boots, fuck off into the sunset, and leave. Right? That would be the sensible thing to do. Just keep your head down, fuck off, fade into obscurity, right? Not Joey Ryan. Nah, nah. See, after this happened, right, Joey Ryan decided, hey, I'm going to upload a video debunking a bunch of these accusations. Of course, you know, he couldn't just leave his sleazy little porn star moustache on. See, because, uh, you know, people might think he's guilty, right? You know, people might think he's guilty because of the moustache, you know. Having his shit investigated and then getting fired from the company he worked for, that's 50-50, but, yeah, the, the sleazy porn star moustache is definitely the deal breaker, bro. So he shaved off his stupid-looking moustache and filmed this little rebuttal video where he just made a bunch of fucking blanket statements, basically, wherein he didn't admit to being the problem at all. Everybody else is just being big and mean and surly and nasty to poor old Jojo, and it might have cost him his career, and so on and so forth. Yep, sure, bro. Whatever you say. For the record, he somehow looks creepier without the moustache, so that backfired. But anyway, so he sort of buggered off for a wee bit, but then, uh, yeah, every so often he'd be posting tweets and change his Twitter bio with all these Christian little Bible verses, you know. Because why would a good Christian boy harm anybody, right? Mm-hmm. So in psychological 
tactic number two didn't work. We're now into the piece of shit's latest little bit of fuckery. Joey Ryan is now trying to sue the people that accused him of sexually harassing and sexually abusing them. Now, there's no two ways about it. Joey did it, okay? One or two women, eh. Three or four women, still potentially room for doubt if you've got no concrete proof. 15 to 24 women with concrete proof, half of whom have never met each other, half of whom aren't even in the same country, or same state, rather, who all have similar stories. Yeah, bro, you're guilty as fucking sin right there. You are guilty as a motherfucker. So there's no ambiguity here. There is no, oh, this is a good guy just being cast in a bad light by a bunch of eventual women. Joey fucking did it. There's no two ways about it. I mean, your fucking gimmick is making people grab your dick for fuck's sake. Come on. Do you think the man's capable of anything dodgy? But anyway. So the fuckwit's now trying to sue the people that have made the accusations. Because he thinks he has a court case or some shit. In the midst of this, he privated that idiotic video he made. But yeah, his first two lawsuits are dubious enough. They're lawsuits against the woman that have accused him of sexually assaulting them. Lawsuit number three is hilarious because an unnamed woman in Canada is being sued because Joey claims that she is encouraging people to potentially violently assault him in real life. Fuck, I wonder what you would have done to have earned that, Joey. So this is lawsuit number three, which is dubious as shit. Lawsuit number four is rumoured, nothing in concrete yet. But lawsuit number four is him trying to take Impact Wrestling to court for unjustifiably firing him. Yeah, bro, because molesting women certainly isn't something you should lose your job for. Get fucked. So... In a roundabout way, I guess what I'm trying to say is that this guy's a piece of shit and he's basically trying to be a... Ugh, excuse me. What he's trying to do is basically continue gaslighting people to a point. Because he's filing these lawsuits. If I'm honest, I don't think it sees court because I'm guessing he's trying to do this because people are going, oh, well, if he's got the conviction to take it all the way to court, he can't have done it. Joey, people aren't that fucking stupid, you asshole. In theory, what he's trying to do is cover his own ass and dupe people into thinking, mm, good wholesome Christian boy, doesn't have a porn stash, came out with a video where he spoke for an hour passing the buck constantly. Now he's suing people for doing mean things to him. This guy can't have done it in spite of the overwhelming mountain of evidence. At no point since fucking May or June or whenever the fuck it was these things came out has Joey Ryan accepted any responsibility, okay? A lot of these guys have put out apologies. In Travis Banks' case, it wasn't a good apology and it was one trying to throw Millie McKenzie under the bus, but it was still an apology. At no point has Joey Ryan gone, I'm sorry to all these women, I recognize the magnitude of what I did, how it fucked them up how it was a horrible thing for me to do. Every single step of the way has been Joey Ryan going, didn't do nothing. You're the wrong ones. You're the scumbags. You're the bad guys because you big meanie heads opening your mouths cost me my career. Not Joey Ryan costing himself his own career by being a disgusting sexual predator. It's fucking disgraceful, man. Like, you know you're a piece of shit when not only do you offer a non-apology, you try suing people because you sexually assaulted them. Honestly, I hope this is the end of fucking Joey Ryan's career. Fuck this guy. And fuck anyone who'd be stupid enough to book him after this bullshit. He lost his own promotion, he's lost a shit ton of Twitter followers, and that's part of his lawsuit, by the way. He's lost Twitter followers because of the duress of his accusations. These women have been dealing with psychological torment for how many years because this piece of shit fucking sexually assaulted them. But Joey lost social media followers. The fiends. The bastards. The horrible, horrible people, right? Joey, fuck you. Fuck off, okay? Get the fuck off the internet and fade into obscurity. 
At this point, nothing can save your ass. Nobody is on your side except maybe the slowest, dumbest mark that thinks, oh, maybe he didn't do it. Nah, he did it. And he's a piece of shit. Fuck Joey Ryan. Anyways, thank you for listening to me ramble. Had to get this off the chest. I'm Damien Skyfire. Till next time.